um, welcome to this graphic processing lecture um, presented by Karabo Apan. By the end of this presentation, you will be able to, est to establish an understanding of two-dimensional graphic making, establish an understanding of three-dimensional artworks, understand the difference between two-dimensional and three-dimensional art making. We'll start looking at um, two-dimensional mug making. What are two-dimensional? I mean, what are mug makings? Mug makings can be described as uh, lines, dots, uh, patterns, and textures uh, that we create on an artwork. Uh, it could be loose, could be gestural, um, could be neat, and it could be controlled. I can be applied to any material. Uh, it could be applied to a paper. Uh, it could be applied. before we continue we need to understand what mark making mark making is so mark making is a sort of um, any mark on the surface for example a tattoo would be can be considered as a marking on the skin so it means we can actually make marking on our skin we can making a drawing on the skin can be considered as marking so basically any sort of writing any sort of um, a pattern a texture that we create either with with the writing uh, a sub, I mean, tool like a pen, pencil, charcoal, polish, um, coffee, anything that we can we can use to actually create sort of a mark, and we can also create marks on marks on different surfaces like um, in our workbook, uh, which you you know you can experiment with different markings, uh, different uh, drawing you know sub drawing uh, up techniques with when you create marking. Are different drawing tools you know like copied markers anything that you have so you can start experimenting and creating sort of marks you can create patterns you can create textures um, you can you can you can you can do a lot with 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 that you can the idea is also to you know do a lot of experimentation at, at that level so you need to understand what you're doing you need to understand what what sort of like uh, text you want to get out of whatever is it the concept that you have so this will help you in the sense that uh, when, when when you keep practicing when you keep experimenting just like in this in this page that we're looking at when you keep practicing then you get the idea of of what what different markings you can make so uh, I would I would suggest that you do a lot of uh, a lot of experimentation with different surfaces with with different uh, materials as well um, for example you can use um, you can do markings with 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 the footprint your footprint maybe your shoe print as well that can also be something interesting so that's what actually mark making um, is so yeah I would suggest you do a lot of a lot of uh, experimentation in your workbook Before we continue, we, we, you know, we get further into what uh, two-dimensional and uh, three-dimensional artworks. We need to understand what two-dimensional artworks are. So, what two-dimensional artworks are, are is that they have they're flat in nature. Uh, they have characteristics of uh, being flat, as I said. So, they would have two axes. So, for example, when 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 you look at um, a three D artworks. Uh, and 2D X. There's something we call uh, 3D. I mean, what do you call uh, X, Y, and Z axis. So that is three space. I mean, three sides of of the object. And then with with 2D will be. Uh, I think it's it's X and Y. So it's X and Y. Uh, y and X. And then with um, with 3D, it's gonna be Z. Uh, y and X. So those are those are the difference between. And another difference is that the three three D three D artworks they have they have uh, characteristics of, of of occupying certain space. So that's why you would find a sculpture is a sort of a three D a three D artwork, and then uh, a painting would be a two D artwork. However, you might find that a painting is, is hanged in a gallery which will probably occupy a certain space, but that in nature, 
the 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 the, the hanged painting. Hanging is not the artwork. The artwork is what is inside the hanging. So the painting itself will be two D, but the whole canvas and uh, the board, the canvas board would be um, three D and 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 sort of like uh, occupy a certain space. So so the difference is that a three D would occupy a certain space and would have different perspectives. Uh, however, uh, whereas I mean, two uh, D would have. Um, qualities of just having two uh you know two sides of 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 of, of the space so it wouldn't really you wouldn't find a 2d artwork occupying certain space you would you you'd probably see it on a canvas on a, on a paper or on on a cloth so it's sort of like a drawing or a painting so that's so this page basically explains what 2d and 3d is uh, shapes could be and it speaks about linear uh, perspective as well it speaks about perspective in general as well so I, I would suggest you get your head around it and you can even go to um, the the link given at the bottom to understand uh, more about 2d and I mean and 3d perspectives Okay, so previous page we were talking about the three dimensional, I mean two dimensional versus three dimensional. So here we're looking at three dimensional artworks. So for example, you can see these two these two artworks on, on, on the far right. So these two artworks on top of each other, they look very flat on the surface. But what gives them uh, what gives them a three dimensional three dimensional characteristics is that we can actually feel the texture. We can actually uh, see this, you know, be able to they, they occupy a certain space on the page so it's they are not they are not flat as much as as much as they are probably put on on a surface but they are not flat they are they occupy a certain space you can see almost every side of the artwork so what I'm trying to say is that collage itself it, it's a, it can be considered as, as, as a sort of um, a three-dimensional three artwork and and the two sculptures um, at, the, uh, at the left side of the collages would be uh, the first one is an artist book. Artist book is it's quite it's quite a very interesting sort of like artworks. So they are they are very they are very interesting to look at as well. Um, the fact that you can actually read it, uh, read the story inside while you feel the artwork, it occupies a, a sort of like a space. It comes in with the with, with sculpture qualities as well. So they they are and should be considered as a as, as 3D um, 3D artworks together with the together with the the, the sculpture at the bottom. So. When we talk about such things, uh, for example, we'll talk about artist books. Uh, sewing can also be considered as as um, three dimensional because then we can feel the uh, you know the, the materials around, and then collage, as I mentioned, could be considered as a three dimensional artwork, um, a free standing sculpture, you know, just like the artist book and the sculpture that you see on your left yeah and the next pages will be will be looking uh just just looks at different types of three-dimensional artworks on, on that can be hanged on the wall uh on the uh being in a gallery uh, you know sort of different different ones that you can you can look at Okay, now we're looking at three dimensional, I mean two dimensional markings on, on, on two dimensional artworks as, as, as the topic is. So we're looking at, for example, um, there will be something that, that, uh, for example, you can have, you can have a collage, um, or a drawing, 
a drawing and then a collage and then start drawing on top of a collage that will be considered a, a, a two-dimensional marking uh looking at the three images uh in in, in, in this page in this page so we're looking at sort of like flat images but then with a 3d quality so a collage itself would be considered as a 3d quality and then the drawings themselves would be considered as flat and 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 and, and two-dimensional so uh what we can we can we can see is that there's there's a ways that you can combine two-dimensional and three-dimensional qualities of the artwork using the markings uh for example the second image on our right it's it's really 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 appealing with the markings and and sort of like uh sewing as well that is in there um it gives it gives it gives uh, a depth in the, in the artwork uh it gives it gives sort of like a very strong strong uh appeal and and and, and it pulls you in so you can you can see that the minute you start combining the two, uh, it, the, your artworks becomes more stronger and more interesting to look at. So even even the image next to it, um, you can see that uh, every the, the 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 people in the in, in the artworks were drawn, and then the sewing was used later to kind of highlight uh, certain things. So basically, what 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 we're seeing is sort of like. Uh, components compositional uh, intentions for example a contrast into what we're looking at so what what is it that maybe maybe the artist is trying to say about the the, the images that were where we suit with a different color of, of of you know with different color and then either brighter or darker color so what is the the artist trying to say are, are they trying to give us some sort of an idea of what we should be looking at are they trying to say this person is more important or less important so it gives it sort of like more meaning uh more more dimensions you know more ideas into the artwork so it, it makes it even more stronger yeah so i think i think if 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 if, if you try to do things like this in your artwork for example if you try to to, to incorporate 2D together with 3D uh, artworks, uh, it will be very, very strong, and it will give it more, more, more life, more appealing, more attractive. Uh, it will give it, most of all, it will give it a very good, interesting contrast, and, and it, it will give your artwork more interesting contrast. Okay, now we're looking at three dimension. I mean, two dimensional markings on 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 two dimensional artworks. As 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 the topic is, so we're looking at, for example, um, there will be something that that, uh, for example, you can have you can have a collage um, or a drawing, a drawing, and then a collage, and then start drawing on top of a collage. That will be considered a, a, a two dimensional marking. Uh, looking at the three images uh, in, in, in in this page in this page so we're looking at sort of like flat images but then with a 3d quality so a collage itself would be considered as a 3d quality and then the drawings themselves would be considered as flat and and and, and, and two-dimensional so uh what we can we can we can see is that there's there's a ways that you can combine two-dimensional and three-dimensional qualities of the artwork using markings uh for example the second image on our right it's it's really 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 appealing with the markings and and sort of like uh sewing as well that is in there um it gives it gives it gives uh, a depth in the, in the artwork uh it gives it gives sort of like a very strong strong uh appeal and, and 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 it pulls you in so you can you can see that the minute you start combining the two uh it, the, your artworks becomes more stronger and more interesting to look at so even even the image next to it um you can see that uh every the the, the, the people in the in, in the artworks were drawn and then the sewing was used later to kind of highlight uh, certain things so basically what, what what we're seeing is sort of like uh components compositional uh, intentions for example a contrast into what we're looking at so what what is it that maybe maybe the artist is trying to say about the the, the images that were where we're sewed with a different color of 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 
you know with different color and then either brighter or darker color so what is the the artist trying to say are, are they trying to give us some sort of an idea of what we should be looking at are they trying to say this person is more important or less important so it gives it sort of like more meaning uh more more dimensions you know more ideas into the artwork so it, it makes it even more stronger yeah so i think i think if 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 if, if you try to do things like this in your artwork for example if you try to 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 incorporate 2d together with 3d uh artworks uh, it will be very very strong and it will give it more 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 life more appealing more attractive uh it will give it most of all it will give it a very good interesting contrast and, and it, it will give your artwork more interesting contrast So what we're looking at here is artist book. So I, what what artist book, uh, as I've explained, is that it's 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 it's, it's 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 artworks made out of books. But what I like about this this artist book that I've I've put in this is, is that you will see that there's a, there's markings on them, and that's that's what that's that's what it, that's mainly what our subject is. It's about marking. So you'll see that there's um each each and every artwork here has this has been filling has been put together with markings. So it. It now gives us sort of an interesting look into uh, what mark makings can be. At uh, the second image, the middle image itself, it's, it's very strong. You can see there's drawings. Uh, there is people holding each other. So there is sort of like life into the image. You want to, the people drawn in the image uh, are, are very, they look very strong and appealing. They give us a sort of interesting contrast into into what what actually is the artwork about and what i also like is that because it's an artist book then it makes you want to kind of kind of like you know pedal through and try to see what's happening and then we also see um the women uh, the collage of sort of like you know images uh figures that looks like women and and in, in pink so we, we it, it kind of gives it more and and also there is also markings on top of them so it kind of gives you the idea of, of 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 feminism as well because you know pink it's a feminist color i think i if, if i'm not mistaken so yeah so you have a feminist a feminist color women holding hands but you also have this this strong strong images of 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 marks uh that look that look more male so you can see that it, it's 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 more engaging to have sort of like markings on your artwork other than just having markings or just having collage i mean that that is not wrong at all but depending on the concept of what of what what you're doing so it's important to also try to call to you know, to to incorporate the two it makes your artworks very very interesting I thought it will be very nice, uh, very interesting to also look at collage in general. So collage is it's, it's a sort of like uh, putting together things, um, um, uh, used images, uh, cut out uh, from magazines and 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 or and or newspapers. So you, what you can do is that you can cut out from newspaper stories uh, or pictures of people, any any sort of like ideas that you have, and then combine them together to create a new artwork. So this this page is here just kind of explains or gives you ideas of of uh, what collage is. So we've got different types of collages as well. We've got a uh, traditional collage where you use your your scissor and a glue and a page. Uh, then you'll paste them together and then you maybe do markings on top of them. Uh, we also have um, which will be in the next page uh, digital collage. So in digital collage, what you can have is is to use a sort of like image editing software uh like photoshop graphic design software like photoshop uh and then you can cut do cut out scan your images it's, it, it's almost the same process and as your normal and traditional um uh collage but just the process takes place on the computer and it gives you more 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 options you can add a digitalized image digital image you can download either i mean images on the computer i mean on the internet or on your camera however way so 
I feel it's more flexible. Uh, you have um, unlimited uh, images to, I mean, that you can use. Of course, you have with traditional. You have a lot of um, a lot of magazines that you can use. Uh, even with with the digital one, the digital collage, you can also do digital drawing on top of them, like the image on on, on your left, on your right. So uh, it, it combines um, digital drawings with. Uh, I feel it's a traditional traditional collage. So what they did is to create a collage and then scan it and then start redoing more collage on, on top of it digitally. So it looks very interesting for me. And then you have those blades, blades flying. Those blades are digital, digitally uh, drawn to 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 look very you know like they belong in the picture so it, it, it there's many ways that you can do your collages you can do your markings and and those beds themselves can also be considered as sort of markings on, on on the collage because they are sort of like drawings so they were digitally drawn so we can do digital markings as well if if uh if need if we need to do that as well so you can try that as well it i think it will look very interesting So this page uh, represents sort of like different types of markings and collage and together. So we have digital marking. You can see the images at the bottom, black, I mean, dark black and white images at the bottom really represents digital, digital and traditional together combined. So they have sort of like created digital mark making uh, collage and everything. So they even have like a little bit of sewing. I think if you look, if you look closer, uh, and then there's this savage drawing, a savage, so written. So there is digital marking. There's also uh, maybe traditional marking. So the image on top as well kind of represents a lot of like uh, cutouts from newspapers. Uh, you'll see there's also objects, like you can see the buttons on top. And there's like a red pen writing, which can, you know, represent sort of markings as well. So there's a lot of there's a lot of opportunities uh, when it comes to you know collage and markings. So the next image um, it actually can be considered as a sort of a sculpture. Uh, the way it's standing, it, it, it's it's very three dimensional. Uh, it has, uh, it, it 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 can somehow occupy certain space. You can see that we can see almost every side. We can also see a little bit underneath the, 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 the threads where there is sort of like a sewing. We can also see that there's a bit of collage somewhere. So there's the whole, the whole, uh, you know, artwork actually show, you know, it's, it's sort of like a story in itself. Uh, but it can also be considered as sort of a collage because it was done on, on a paper, on a paper. Uh, you'll see there is sort of like uh, um, uh, leaves on the side that were were put there, and there is I think I think this this is there's some woods around it, so it's it's a mixed media of of different um, objects of different medias. Um, yeah, so there's different types of collages that you can do with different marks, so it's up to you what you really want to do. So